Hey everyone, it's Brent from Dude Be Nice. Uh, just out getting some fresh air and also gathering my thoughts. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I've got a lot of thoughts going through my head these days and uh, thought if I shared some of the things I was thinking about, some of the emotions I've been experiencing over this past week, perhaps it'll encourage you as we go through this really surreal time together. So the first thing I just wanna talk about really quickly is um, I've been experiencing all sorts of emotions. I don't know about you, but I've had feelings of uh, fear, of sadness, of anger, of feeling guilty, feeling helpless, feeling optimistic, feeling peaceful. I've really been all over the place. And what I've realized is I don't think any of us really know exactly how we're supposed to feel right now because we've never been through this before. And so whatever you're feeling is okay. I was feeling super sad and scared a couple of days ago because Dude, be nice. We're a small business. Pretty much our business, all of the things we had in the pipeline has disappeared. That's really scary. But all I can lean on is the fact that myself, you all, we've all experienced other forms of adversity. Maybe not like this, but we've experienced adversity in some form and we've made it through it. So I'm gonna take this time to figure out, okay, what can we do to to improve our business, to improve ourselves, to be more innovative and creative. So when we come out of this, and we will come out of this time, we will be set up for even greater success than we ever could have imagined. The second thing I wanna talk about is just how freaking grateful I am right now. There are so many of you right now on the front lines in some capacity fighting this unprecedented disease. And I just wanna say thank you. Thank you to the doctors, the nurses, the lab techs, anybody who works in the healthcare space. Thank you so much to the janitorial staff at all essential businesses, including hospitals and doctor's offices that are keeping it sanitized and clean. Like you all are heroes <laughs> to the, to the, people that are working in our school cafeterias right now, even though school is not in session, making sure kids that rely on their meals from school every day have those. Thank you guys to the volunteers at schools, to the drivers bringing foods, not just to our schools, but to, to uh, our grocery stores. Like thank you to the, the cashiers and the people working the registers of the grocery stores, to the people stocking our shelves. Thank you to, to all the teachers that have created great curriculum so our kids can continue to learn. Thank you. Like, I'm overwhelmed with emotion thinking about how amazing y'all are. You got some raises coming, you got some big hugs, and there's a, a debt of gratitude that we all owe you, the people that are also staying home to try to keep other people safe. And for the people staying home that aren't going out doing the things they wanna do, you are saving lives. Keep it up. The next thing I wanna talk about is the news. How many of y'all have been stuck to your TVs watching the news? How's it going? Let me tell you, the news is a valuable asset when you're getting information from it that can protect you and protect people around you. But once you get that information, it might be time just to turn it off. You may not know this about me, but I was actually a television news producer. I was a television news producer right out of college and it was my dream job. I produced the 11 o'clock news for CBS and I know firsthand that it was my job every single day to look forward to other people's really bad days because it gave me a story to tell. There's a saying in the news business, if it bleeds, it leads. Right now, the stuff that's leading on the news, when you turn it on and you see breaking news, it is not optimism. It is fear, it is big words that, that make this thing that is a big deal seem like it's even a bigger deal. Let's get our information from health officials. Let's get our information from, from, from our leaders. And then I encourage you guys, when you're watching the news, you're starting to feel scared, you're starting to feel anxious, like turn it off. Go do something that fulfills you and makes a difference in your house or in your community. One other thing I wanna talk about is just how encouraged I've been. There are so many great things happening in our communities. Watching people to come, come together has been incredible. Like, even just walking in the streets and people saying hi to each other like I've never seen before, and the sense of we're all in this together, it really is a beautiful thing. There's little acts of kindness happening everywhere I look. From a woman in Oregon taking rocks that she's found and painting them with really cool pictures so kids can find them on their walks when they're home from school, to chalk art on, on the sidewalks where people are walking, offering encouraging notes in this challenging time. 
to, to people taking those little boxes that are usually used for, uh, you know, sharing books in neighborhoods and filling them up with canned food goods so people can come by and get what they need. Like, humanity is amazing. There are amazing things happening, and I want you guys to send us and tell us about some of the good things that are still happening in your neighborhood or that you're seeing, and we want to share that to balance out the perspective of what's actually happening in the world right now. Because in the midst of this doom and gloom, there is some beautiful bloom. I just made that up. Bloom being amazing things sprouting. And the last thing I want to say. A lot of us have homes that are comfortable. But think about and pray for the people that are homeless right now. Or pray for those kids specifically that are in homes right now that they don't want to be in that are scary, unhealthy, there's abuse happening, and they're home right now, and school is their sanctuary, think about those kids. Lift them up. This is a challenging time, no doubt. But I have very little doubt that we will overcome this, that our kindness will shine through, and we're gonna get through this and be better. Yeah, it's tough. I'm kinda scared. <laughs> our business, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how we're gonna pay our bills, but I'm confident that this too shall pass, but we've gotta to stick together. It's our chance to come together as a nation and, and love each other more than we've ever loved before and care for each other and be more grateful for and be more generous with each other. I hope you all have a great day and uh, yeah, we'll be in touch. Send us those good stories.